Quarrying rock for a living is hard work, but Nandamitra has been doing this for many years now, and for him, hard has never been a good enough reason not to do something. Married with two children, he lives with his family in Galnava, Anuradhapura. Visually impaired since birth, Nandamitra has been completely blind since he was a teenager. Performance is a powerful medium of expression and liberation for most people, but maybe even more so for people like Nandamitra. Because it gives disabled people a chance to be acknowledged, recognized and appreciated for their abilities. Sunera Padana Maharaha Mata Hungadurata Tanaka Gihin Katakara, no one ever can a kid repeat a Katakara, no one ever Zabaha kid repeat a Katakara and Hekia Labilatino. It in Artia Kirimedi Mata Hungak by Hiti, by Tibunama meet is an arti Kerlaneha. Kutia Klavano, I think, Api Eka Kariji with the Agata Karani, Gangulata, Hama Samaji, take a get in Samaji, Astre Karanakinekne, Api Apeka take a Tilai, Nati Vagede Valker, and good up to good as Santos. Disabled people often live sheltered lives, protected from the outside world by their well meaning families. To many, these weekly Sunera workshops are their only opportunity to get out of home and to interact with the world outside. Rishani lives in a world of silence, where eloquent hands and expressions tell stories. But with Rishani, that is not the whole story. Last year, she was a judge the best actress at Samanalayaya, an annual drama festival organized by the Sunera Foundation. These workshops provide participants a place of safety where they can meet friends and tap into their creative energies. It gives every participant a chance to be on stage, in the spotlight and to be appreciated and applauded. It gives them the opportunity not to be pitied, judged or ridiculed. It gives them the opportunity to shine. Final touches are added to costumes and makeup as Nandamitra's troupe prepares to take the stage. Tonight's performance is for Samanalayaya, which brings together the best productions from Sunera's 40 workshops around the country. As well as giving actors a chance to showcase their talents, this festival allows Sunera to take issues relating to disability to a wider audience. Last year, Nandamitra's performance at Samanalayaya earned him the accolade of Best Actor. Following her success at Samanalayaya, Rishani got an opportunity to represent the Sunera Foundation at a dance festival in India. But this is a first for both Rishani and Sunera, which although it has been producing theatre productions since 2001, has never before produced a traditional dance item. The dancers have been chosen from workshops around the country. For many of them, this will be the longest time they've spent away from home. Now, they have just two weeks before they will have to perform in front of a packed house in another country. Uma Devi lives in Hatton, where her family works on one of the many plantations that produce world-famous Sri Lankan tea. But although they are surrounded by beauty, life is hard for Uma and her family. Plantation workers form one of the lowest income groups in the country. Literacy and basic health care remain challenges in this community. Understandably, issues regarding disability are not top of mind here, something that this street theatre performance in a public bus stop aims to address. Working women form the backbone of this community. The work they do is very labour-intensive 
and it is easy for someone with a disability to be sidelined in a community such as this. But Uma is no ordinary young woman. At home, she fetches water, cooks, does the laundry and grows vegetables to sell at the market. There's trouble at the rehearsal. The steps are not to the satisfaction of the dancing instructor. With just a few more days of rehearsal left, can they pull it together? The dance is very interesting. The announcer is very custom. 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 The announcer is very Gayan, like a majority of Sunera's workshop regulars, has Down syndrome, a condition that affects one out of every 700 babies born. As a result of his condition, precisely coordinating certain motor functions, such as are required for dance, is more of a challenge for Gayan. Almost half the number of people living with Down syndrome also have weak hearts. So long rehearsals are hard on him, but Gayan is determined. ela <laughs> Ekamata <laughs> The moment of truth has finally arrived. Today, after two weeks of tough rehearsal, they perform in front of a live audience for the first time. Everything is going perfectly when suddenly, right at the end of his cartwheels, Gayan takes a fall. But he gets right back up and continues the performance, proving that his heart is anything but weak. The performance is a triumph. For Sunera, it represents another step in a journey that began in 2001. And for the participants, they have all overcome many obstacles on their journey here. And perhaps their biggest triumph of all is the triumph over society's expectations of them. Sunera believes that where there is art, there is hope. But we choose not to define hope as an outcome, but rather as a state of mind. We believe in making them believe that they can. Every single day, disabled people are held back not by their disabilities, but by society's unwillingness to recognize what they can contribute. They are not asking to see, to hear, to walk. They are only asking for recognition and respect.